Ladies and gentlemen, we have an NBA minefield quiz specifically made for me. So shout out to Carter uh, Chapman uh, 042. Link will be in the description for you to play along. If you don't know the way minefield ones work, this is a 151 question quiz. And if we get one wrong, we lose the entire quiz. So knowing the likelihood of me completing this first try is almost zero, I'm giving myself three different chances to complete it. And if we don't complete it, then we call that a failure. Leave a like, subscribe, let me know how you do. All right, all right, so let's get into it. Oh my God, that is a, t you know what? I'm gonna restart. What I wanna do, instead of a timer, we're gonna <laughs> practice mode. Cause I'm gonna have to think, I'm gonna have to think in 25 minutes to answer 151 questions does not seem like enough. Um, he does say apologies for any mistakes, comment if you find any. It has two comments. I hope that he fixed it. Cause I'm not gonna look because that would, that would contain spoilers maybe. Are we ready? All right, let's get into it. Uh, click the NBA to start. We're, we're going to be one for one after this one. Booyah. Um, we started in what year? That would be 1946. Who won Who won the championship that year? Okay. Um, the good thing is all of the options are here. So we just have to go and look for teams like the Atlanta Hawks. Probably not. The Boston Celtics is a good chance that it might have been them, but let's keep going. Philadelphia Warriors won it with the first NBA superstar, Joe Folks, as the guy who went to what college? See, yeah. All right. We, we were already catching the L. They got um, what colleges are available here? What colleges are available? Oh, so far, we only got Dayton as an option. So uh, Kansas. OK, Kansas is an option. I guess Akron technically is an option, too. So we got three different college options so far. LSU is an option. So we got to take a shot in the dark because I have no idea what school Joe Murray State is, uh, is an option. I have no idea where he went to college. So at UCLA is down here. Joe Folks play for the 70s uh, with the Warriors, Philadelphia Warriors. What team is closest? What cause is closest to Philadelphia? I don't know. Let's say the man went to Dayton. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we got we got less than the average score. How am I supposed to know what school Joe Folks went to? You know what I'm saying? How am I supposed to know that? As, as, a, as a guy that was born 50, 50 years, 50 years after his championship, how am I? All right, restart. Actually, we're not even we're not counting that as an attempt because that doesn't. I was th I was three percent in, man, three percent in, and yes, I did Google it, so I do know that Joe Folks went to Murray State. Um, is that cheating? Maybe. Um, same college as what high flying point guard? Okay, we could we could get this. Made it slightly bigger, so hopefully this is better. This is the biggest I can I can put it on screen without it getting morphed. Um, and I forgot to change the timer. Okay, whatever. We just gonna run with it. Um, John Morant, where's John Morant? Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Who was drafted? What pick? He was the second overall pick, which is the number of which up and coming Canadian guard? Probably Shea Gilgis Alexander. Great. Who averaged how many points per game? He averaged 31 points per game. Was the Sage jersey number at what current center? What current center is wearing the number 31? Okay. All good. All good. All good. Just keep, just look for current centers. Uh, so far, so good. I don't see anybody. Jared Allen wears 31. Who plays with what? That's going to be our guy Donovan Mitchell. Where you at, Donovan? There we go. Who scored how many points in a single game? That, of course, is his 71-point game. The same number as what other guard? Okay, so we roll it right now. We roll it right now. Where's Damian Lillard? Where are you at, Dame Dollar? Dame Dollar? Dame, Dame Dollar? There you go. Who requested a trade to what's team? He requested a trade to the Miami Heat. Okay, I, I thought this was about to be a, a moment of semantics, but okay, great. Um, who was coach in 2000, 2006, it was Stan Van Gundy. And then he got let go. And then that is when, uh, Pat Riley took over and they won the championship, whatever, whatever, Pat Riley. Great. Who finished his playing career with what team? Okay. This feels like a question that I shouldn't get, but I know that Pat Riley spent the last part of his career. It might even been one season with the Phoenix Suns. Beautiful. Who have reached the finals. How many times? Um, the one with Chris Paul, the one with Charles Barkley. I know there's three because when Chris Paul and Devin Booker were there, they were like, third NBA Fighters appearance. I don't remember what the third one was, but I know it's three. Thank you. Same jersey number as what young shooting guard? Um, okay. Uh, let's look for a sh young shooting guard that would be wearing the number three. Young shooting guard, not Dwayne Wade, but a young shooting guard that will be wearing the number three. Okay, I just went through all of those names and not a single one jumped out as wearing the number three. So <laughs> I'm going to go back and see if there's somebody else that I overlooked. Uh, Josh, is Josh Giddy wearing the number three? Ooh, Josh Giddy's the only one that, because y'all know if you've been around, you know, I suck with jersey numbers. So this is always going to be the tough part for me. Young shooting guard. Are we counting him as a shooting guard too is another question. Nobody else here even really makes sense. So I'm going to go Josh Giddy. Okay, great. Who is from, uh, some of y'all know Josh Giddy number is like, oh, Kenny, you took too long. I just don't, I don't, my mind does not compute. 
jersey numbers, okay? My mind does not compute jersey numbers, so it's going to take me some time. The same number of championships of what team? Okay, a lot of teams only have one. The Atlanta Hawks only have one. Uh, the Cavaliers have... Cavaliers? How many championships do the Cavs have? I know, I know they got at least one because I, I experienced the one. I'm... I, this is a terrible question, and I'm not faulting myself for this one because the Atlanta Hawks have won, the Cavs have won, the Denver Nuggets have won. Like, how do you like there? That's, and I'm sure that might be even more teams here that only have one. Um, the Bucks have more than one. The Timberwolves have zero. The Bla do the Blazers only have one. See, there are a lot of teams who only have one here. Can I skip the question? Who beat what team in the 1958 Finals? Okay. So the team that won their one championship is 1958. The Cavs championship is recent. The Denver Nuggets championship of this year. The Atlanta Hawks championship might have been 1958 versus the Boston Celtics. So I'm going to guess Atlanta Hawks. Okay. Yeah. Whoever created this quiz, uh, Carter, that's a mistake, but we, we got past it. Who be what team? The Boston Celtics. Okay. Who have how many championships? They have 17 different championships. Same number as the LA Lakers. Great. Who traded who for Kobe Bryant? That would be Vladi Divac. Great. Who wore this? What number for the Hornets? Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, I want to say 20, no, 12? Okay, skip it. The same draft pick as who in the 2003 draft? Yikes. Okay, can we use context clues here? Who here was drafted in 2003? Who here was drafted in 2003? I know LeBron is going to be on this list. I think I saw Dwayne Wade's name, but of course... Those guys are not the 12th overall pick or the 24th overall pick or the 22nd overall pick. Who here is in this draft class? Nick Collison is in this draft class. And Nick Collison was a lottery pick. Was he 12 or 14? Interesting. Okay, so let's go back. Let's say 12. Vladi Divac wore 12. And Nick Collison was the 12th overall pick. Is that cheating? I don't care. We're locked. Who played nine seasons with what superstar? Nick Collison played nine seasons with Kevin Durant. He played more seasons with Russell Westbrook. Great. Who currently plays for the Phoenix Suns? Who drafted who with the 52nd overall pick in 2023? That shouldn't be a hard question. I don't know the answer to, but let's just look for somebody who would be a rookie this year. Uh, to, uh, Kamara. Boom. Who played where he went to Dayton, who is the same as Obi Toppin. Where's Obi Toppin's name? He's in here somewhere. He's the only other player from Dayton. Am I right? Come on. Where? Obi Toppin. A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H, H. Obi Toppin. There who have a how many rebounds in 2022, 2023? Okay, Obi Toppin did not get a lot of PT. Even though we know he can rebound, he was averaging less than 20 minutes per game. So do we think he averaged five rebounds in 20 minutes per game? Or is it more likely he averaged three? Let's go with three. Great. Same jersey number as Dwayne Wade, who is the co-owner of the Utah Jazz. Great. Who traded which player for Patrick Beverly? Who traded which player for Patrick Beverly? If I am not mistaken, I mean, we can kind of look at the options here. If I'm not mistaken, Patrick Beverly was a part of the Rudy Gobert trade. Is Rudy Gobert even an option? He is. Okay, wait. Before we even guess that, let's just look to make sure there's no other former Utah Jazz players that are um, on this list. Yeah, I think it's Rudy Gobert. P beautiful. Um, who wears the number 27, always have, probably always will because it's such a weird number. Same number as the Trailblazer Center. This is going to be Yusuf Nurkic. I'm assuming this was created, obviously, before the trade, but Yusuf Nurkic, great. Who is from here? Same as Bojan Bogdanovic. Where you at, Bojan? Beautiful. Who wears what number? Okay. I am almost positive. Even though I do not know jersey numbers very well, Bojan Bogdanovic is worth the number 44 his entire career. Since the moment he stepped into the association, he's worth the number 44, and I think he still is. Who's drafted? Wait, which is the draft pick of which King Small Four? That's easy. Just look for somebody. I don't know the answer, but out of our options, who plays for the Kings? Who's a small four? I'm sorry, I'm recording this while Arsenal and Man City are playing against each other. They just wanted to have time nil nil. So if you see me keep looking up, that's why. But the only person that makes sense here is uh, Kessler Edwards. I don't even know if he still plays for the Kings, but he's the, out of all of our options here. He's the only small forward that even has played for the Kings. So thank you. Who played alongside what speedy guard? That's going to be De'Aaron Fox, who averaged how many points per game? He averaged 25 points per game. And changed jersey numbers, what former Atlanta Hawks center? Oh, center. P point guard. Uh, Bob Pettit did not play point guard. Um, uh, Clyde Drexler, Danny Green, Darvin Ham, uh, Dale Curry. No, no, no. Doc Rivers. Beautiful. Who was just fired by the Philadelphia 76ers. And the 76ers hired what coach? We, we flying through this now. We have 48 straight right. Who won a championship with what team? That would be the Toronto, Toronto Raptors. Beautiful. Who selected who 
in the 2023 draft. That would be Grady, who went to what college? He's a Kansas boy. The same as which one-time champion, Andrew Wiggins, who was drafted first overall by which team? He was drafted by the Cavaliers, but traded to the, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, it traded alongside Anthony Bennett. We are flying through. Who was drafted in the 2013 draft? The rookie of the year was Michael Carter Williams, uh, who was drafted by the, ooh, hmm. I'm assuming he was drafted by the 76ers because he played there. But you know, sometimes players get drafted and traded. Uh, I'm gonna say 76ers. Great. Who had uh, Joel Embiid on their team this season? Who was from the Cameroon, but he's gonna play for USA. USA. Come the uh, the. What am I looking for? What word am I looking for? Olympics. Yes. Uh, uh, same country as Pascal Siakam. Pascal Siakam, great. Who averaged how many points per game? 24 or 22? 24 makes the most sense, so we're going to use that. The same jersey number as Kobe Bean, Brian May, he rests in peace, who ended his career with the... See, these are, lay, uh, these are layups. These are layups. Who currently led by which... For, that would be LeBron James. We... Yeah. Yeah, that has not been a hard question in a minute. Who was born in Akron, Ohio. The same hospital as Steph Curry, which again is such a crazy fun fact in NBA history. Who has been selected how many off seats? Okay, Steph Curry was somewhat of a late bloomer. So our real options here are eight, nine, or seven. Seven is too low. I'm gonna go with the highest option because he's Steph Curry, but it's still not you would think it's way more because he's Steph Curry, but I think nine is the right answer. Great. Jersey jersey numbers for what form of bull? That will be our guy Lou All Dangerous, who finished his career. After the Lakers, he played with Tom Thibodeau. Um, um, that team was basically the Bulls light. It had Tom Thibodeau as the coach. It had Todd Gibson, Derrick Rose, and Luol Deng on the team. That would be the Minnesota Timberwolves who have how many finals appearances? Zero? If KG didn't get up to the finals, then they never have got there. Zero finals. Okay, great. Um, the same jersey number as well. Hyper-athletic point guard. Is that going to be our guy Brody? Russell Westbrook? Great. Who played alongside which Rocket Superstar in OKC? Yo, we are flying, bro. We are flying through this. That's going to be uh, James. Where is James? How do you spell James? James Harden. Who requested a trade from which team? That would be the 76ers again. For the 76ers, or I'm sorry, Philadelphia Warriors and the 76ers accounted for four options in this 150-question quiz. Who drafted which player with the 10th overall pick in 2018? Okay, I don't know the answer to this, but let's look at our options. 10th play, 10th overall pick in 2018. 10th overall pick in 2018. See, yeah, we, ooh, Mikael Bridges was drafted by them, but traded for Zaire Smith. Boom, who currently plays for the Brooklyn Nets. Whose career high in points, wait, what? Whose career high in, what is, wait, what? Are you asking me Mikel Bridges' career high in points? Because that I don't know the answer to. It's got to be 40s because it's not 22 and it's not 50. It might. It's 45 or 46. Let's see. The jersey number of which Boston point guard? What Boston point? Oh. Oh. Okay. It's 40. It's 45 because Delano Benton wears 45. Come on. Can't tell me I'm not stupidly locked. You cannot tell me I'm not stupidly locked. Who was drafted with what pick? Oh. Oh. Do I do, I do this again? The same draft pick is what NBA journeyman. That does not help at all. We're 70, we're over halfway through. Lionel Benton could be 40, 46. He could be 52. He could even be 55. But it is, oh man. Delano Benton. You know what? I'm a Delano Benton fan. I, I like Delano Benton, but I have no idea. I'm, I'm going to go 52. And I'm wrong. Ah, uh, we, okay. That's, that's okay. That's okay. We got halfway through the quiz. I got halfway through the quiz. I'm going to assume if it's not 52, then it's 46. So I'm going to play our way back up to this question, and I will be right back. It's, uh, and I'm going to put this on practice mode. <laughs> I'll be right back. It might take me a minute, but I'm going I'm to get back to that question. All right, we're back. It took like four minutes. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, 46. Great. The same draft pick as CBA journey. <laughs> That does not help. Okay, it's not Andrew Bogut. It's not Bob Pettit. It's not Clyde Drexler. It could be Danny Green. It could be Danny Green. It could be Dale Curry as well. I don't know where Dale Curry... I don't even know if Dale Curry was drafted. It's not Derrick Rose. Um, so far, the only two options are Danny Green and D Dale Curry. Um, well, it's not Dale Curry because it's an NBA journeyman. Dale Curry's not a journeyman. He played for a couple teams, but that don't make him a journeyman. D Danny Green has played for like seven teams. That makes you a journeyman. Uh, Mario Hazonia, Marcus Smart, th those are lottery picks. LaMelo, Clay Thompson, lottery picks. Paige Stojakovic, no. Rashad Vaughn, no. Robert Ori. Robert Ori. Hmm. Even though he played for a lot of teams, I think he's got the respect to be not called a journeyman with all of those rings, right? I think it's Danny Green. Danny Green. 
Oh my God. Okay. Who plans to wear what number with the 76? Danny Green always wears that ugly number 14, and I'm assuming that he's going to do the same thing. Great. Which is the record for most three points in the game set by, of course, Clay Thompson, who is one half of the Splash Bros, alongside Wardale Stephen Curry Jr., whose father also played in the NBA named Dale Curry, who has another son in the NBA named Seth Curry, uh, who played alongside Gary Trent Jr. on what team? That would be the Portland Trailblazers, who won their one and only championship in what year? 1975. It's 1977. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Bill Walton. I'm sorry. That's my second messed up attempt. I could have swore it was 90, uh, 75, though. I can't lie. But it's 77, so I got to get back to the spot. Oh, my God. This will be my last attempt because that, that's two, technically, because that first one don't count. I mean, I was like, again, I was like 2% in. That don't count. All right. Woo. It took us three minutes to catch back up to question number 85. When you really think about 151 questions, okay, 1977 is the year that the Trailblazers won their championship. The PPG leader that year was, <laughs> it, could, it could be David Thompson. Um, it could be Jamal Wilkes. Uh, are those our only two options? Rudy Tomanovich? Nah. It's, it's really between those two dudes. The next question is who went to what college? Okay, so that doesn't help us. Ah, uh, it could be Dave. Man. Am I overthinking this? Is it easily Dave? Ooh, it's not Dave. Because Dave, Dave Thompson went to NC State, I'm pretty sure. So if, if, his, if his NC State is not up here, and we know that the next question is who went to what college is not him. So we, we, we got to say Jamal Wilkes. No. Oh, my God. Oh my God! 1977. I want. I gotta keep going. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't let that be the end. I can't let that be the end. Oh my God! Pistol P. Maravich was staring me in the face, and LSU was even an option right here. It's Pistol P. Maravich and then LSU. I'm going one more time. I'm sorry. I'm going one more time. Pistol P. Maravich, bro. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? I don't even know what Jamal Wilkes was doing in 77. Oh boy. All right. Give me. I'll be back in four minutes. We know that it's Pistol P. Maravich. What college he went to at LSU? Same as which Hall of Fame power forward? Oh my God, we are past that part and we can really go down. Hall of Fame power forward that went to, what college? I, LSU, went to LSU. Bob Pettit won two MVPs, same number of championships as which Hall of Fame center? Um, Hall of Fame center with two championships. Hall of Fame center with two championships. The only one here that makes sense is Will Chamberlain. Thank you. Um, who holds the record for most rebounds in a game with how many? 55 or 52? What's the next question? The jersey number of which... Okay, wait, we could get this. We could get this. Because the Kimmy Mutombo is here. The Kimmy Mutombo is here. And who else here is a Hall of Fame center? It's only the Kimmy Mutombo. Well, I guess Walt Bellamy is a Hall of Fame center, right? I don't know anything about Walt Bellamy, honestly. He's here. We're gonna. He's going to be the answer to some question. I just don't know which question it will be. I'm going to try to play this as strategic as possible because this is my last go around. So we know it's between 55 and 52. And the Kimbe were 55. So let's say 55, the Kimbe Mutombo, who was inducted in the Hall of Fame in what year? Oh, 2008 maybe, right? Right? Had to be 2008 because he, sh he should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. He did retire early 2000s, and I think you need a four-year grace period. So 2008 makes a lot of sense to me, and I was wrong. So it must be 2015. Oh, that's so frustrating. Not only is that frustrating because I got it wrong, it's because I didn't think. Dikembe played a lot longer than early 2000s. Dikembe played until he was like 40, maybe even higher. Like, that, that's, that's such a... Oh, man. I don't want to end that way. I don't want to end on me making a foolish decision. I want me to end on something being wrong, like really being wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like I, that was just me jumping the gun because I was thinking, oh, 2001 uh, Philadelphia 76ers. He still played like five, six years after that, Kenny. Ah, oh, boy. I know I said three chances, but at this point, I, I can't put my pride aside. I have to. I have to get it done. I have to get it done. I have to get it done, and I will get it done. Well, I can't. Okay. I can't say <laughs> I can't say I will get it done, but um, I will keep going until I feel as though I I didn't know something, because that did that didn't ha that didn't happen. I just feel like I use a bad process of elimination, you know. But no joke, this is my last chance. By the way, I'm I'm genuinely saying this is my last chance. Um, no matter what happens, no matter what happens. 2015 for Dikembe, and the fifth overall pick this year. I might just be washed and just out of my mind now. Fifth overall pick in what year? 2015. Super Mario, who's from Croatia. Same as which Hall of Fame small forward? That would be my guy, uh, Tony Kukoc, 
who's inducted in the Hall of Fame win. Yikes. Okay, next question is what? The champion that year was yikes. Okay, all right. Um. Okay, Tony Kukoc induction into the Hall of Fame. Tony Kukoc has the type of career that might not have made him be first ballot. That, that's a struggle. It, it It could be 2008. It could be. But if he was a first ballot, then it could be like 2020 or something. I got it. I got it. I just want a couple questions in the future. Again, it could be cheetah. I don't know. He was inducted to the Hall of Fame in 2021. The Milwaukee Bucks won the championship where you at Milwaukee, and they drafted Rashad Bond, whose career high in points. What is this? 16. He had to have 16 because it's not going to be one, two, five, or seven, or eight. 16. That's it. That's it. Rashad Vaughn. How, how, Rashad, Rashad Vaughn career high is why I draw the line. That's why I draw the line. I have no idea. Rashad Vaughn career. I'm Googling it. I'm Googling it. Career high in points is 22. Wait. I ain't see that as an option. Oh, it was an option. GG's. GG's. I'm done. I'm done. How long have I been filming? 54 minutes. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go.